Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about how to look more confident on camera and how to kind of like just shake it off so that you actually feel and look a lot more natural on camera. Let's be honest, talking to a camera isn't actually natural and please don't be fooled to think that YouTubers actually find that natural. It's really not and it takes a lot of practice to get to the point where you actually feel a lot more confident in front of the camera and for it to even look natural in any way whatsoever. The videos that you see on YouTube are the perfect perfected and edited version of their videos. There have been hours of editing that have gone into these videos, probably hours of YouTubers scrutinizing themselves while they've been watching back the video before they actually schedule or publish their video. And this is all to ensure that you get a really nice, smooth and effortless looking video. YouTubers make mistakes too, and you'll be surprised at how many. Guys, to <sighs> that isn't authentic. It's much easier. Again, going back to what I said earlier, you get the edited version. What we get to see before it actually goes out is the unedited version. So there are a lot of times where we make mistakes. We've either said the wrong thing or just sound wrong or stuttered or something's happened where it just doesn't seem smooth and effortless. So those kind of things are usually edited out and that's why you get the perfected version. The same way that we make mistakes, we also have those days too, like everyone else does, where we're just not feeling good. We're just not feeling feeling happy or just kind of good about ourselves and that can come across through the camera. I have seen videos from right at the beginning of my YouTube journey where I have seen that it has just come off on camera and you can really see that I'm probably not happy that day or something's happened or I'm just stressed out and you can really feel it and maybe other people won't be able to see it but if you feel it yourself and you can see it yourself then there's bound to be one or two people who will notice it too. So please bear in mind that that is normal. Not everyone can switch off their feelings just like like that when they're about to film. If it was possible to do that, life would be so much easier, but it's not. So we're gonna talk more about that a bit later. So I want to share with you things that I've learned throughout my YouTube journey so that it could help prepare you for whatever type of filming you're doing or that you're about to start, whether it be for YouTube, whether it be for any other kind of platform. Whatever platform it is, majority of the time that involves standing or sitting in front of a camera and talking to the camera. Don't forget that if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And yeah, I guess let's head straight into this video. Be prepared to keep trying. It may seem really obvious to you, but if you don't get over this first hurdle, the rest of the tips are just pointless. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys about the different emotions that you kind of feel throughout your journey of starting to film for whatever platform. Honestly, your first 10 videos are not gonna be that great. Even your next 10 videos are probably not gonna be that great. But the whole point is, is that you're going to improve over time. Every video is bound to be better than the last video in some way. If I were to look back at some of the videos that I filmed at the beginning of my YouTube journey, I can't even tell you how uncomfortable and stiff I look and how different I come across to how I do now. At that point, when I first started, I was just really nervous and that's normal to have those nerves. And there were times where I felt like, is there any point in me doing this? But then I had to realize that I'm not going to get better unless I keep trying. So you have to keep going in order to improve and generally feel more confident in the long run. Something I wish that I was told at the beginning of my YouTube journey was that just cut yourself some slack because you are gonna end up criticizing yourself more than probably anyone else watching your videos will do. Don't forget that you see things that other people just won't even notice. So cut yourself some slack and remember that over time, you're gonna loosen up and you're gonna be a lot more confident. So just remember to give yourself that time. Be authentic. Remember to always be you. When I think back to when I first started my videos, I remember I was so obsessed with coming across perfect that I focused on that so much, I couldn't keep up with it in the end. I was so concerned about how I was gonna be perceived by the person or the people watching my videos that I was focusing on the wrong thing. I didn't just decide one day, okay, I'm gonna stop trying to be perfect. I just naturally transitioned into who I really am over time throughout my videos. Again, because I couldn't keep up with the perfection. I couldn't keep up 
up with wanting to look or come across so perfect, I naturally transitioned into who I am today, which is a person who struggles with pronunciation. I stopped cutting those sections out of my videos. I ended up acknowledging it on my videos. And when I was honest about it, I realized that my audience actually embraced that authenticity with open arms. It made me realize that what they really want to see is the real you. They want to see the authentic you with all the flaws. Just be open, be yourself. And I know at the beginning, it's going to be a little bit difficult because you naturally will probably be a little bit stiff on camera and you will loosen up over time. But just remember to not pretend to be anything that you're not. If you put on this persona while you're on camera, that isn't authentically you. Like I said before, firstly, you won't be able to keep up with it. Secondly, it takes away from the whole reason that you are doing these videos. It takes away from the actual message that you're trying to deliver throughout that video because you're not focusing on what you should be focusing on. It's much easier to be yourself and also be consistent with that because it takes less effort than actually trying to be something that you're not. Being yourself on camera means that people are going to relate to you because you're not trying to be something that you're not and they will connect with you. I can promise you that much. People will connect with you. Be yourself and people will naturally be able to relate to you. Don't expect everyone to like you. At the beginning of my journey, I was so concerned about being liked that I ended up holding back my real personality. And because I was so concerned with what people were gonna think of me, I just wasn't being myself. And again, that goes back to the previous tip, but honestly, you have to be prepared for the fact that not everyone is going to like you. And that's not me saying that you're gonna get bad comments. You're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, and that's okay. I can't expect every single person out there to, to like me but what matters to me are the people who are watching who do like me who do like my content and understand that it's actually not just about being liked but it's also about the message you're delivering and whether you are helping them in some way in their life or business there's always going to be someone in this world who has something to say online you've just got to remember that that isn't your concern what your concern is are the people that actually do follow you and like you and like your content and feel that you are improving their life or business in some way. Someone's going to think that you talk too fast. Another person is going to think that you talk too slow. Someone's going to think that you talk too much. I've had that same comment plenty of times on my channel, but I always push them aside because I don't really care what they think. They don't have to come to my channel. There are other places that, that they can go. What I really care about are the people who are loyal to me. You can't please everyone in the world. And that's why that shouldn't be what your main focus is. Your main focus should be the information that you are delivering in your video and how is that benefiting someone watching it? Don't let people's opinions distract you from why you are actually making these videos. Practice, practice, practice. I know you have heard this a million times, but honestly, when you are first starting out, make sure you film videos, not with the intention of uploading. And the reason I say that is because you're going to put some unnecessary pressure on yourself. What you really want to do is get used to being in front of the camera, get used to talking to the camera, get used to kind of just feeling confident in your own skin and getting used to your surroundings, getting used to the setup. You need to get used to all of that. It's not just about the camera and you, it's about everything else around you too. Feel comfortable while you're doing it. I always make myself a coffee because I know that's going to keep me going and it's something that I enjoy and it makes me feel like there's a bit of normality to this whole setup as well. Film one video and then watch it and take notes. And the kind of notes you wanna take are things that you think you could improve. I'm not talking about criticizing yourself or little kind of habits that you may have. Think about whether anyone else is really gonna pick up on those habits because again, you've gotta remember that you will probably criticize yourself more than anyone else watching that video. So think about other things. Like for example, by watching this video, I can see that I kind of go off onto another subject and I'm kind of not staying on the subject at hand. I know I personally had that issue to begin with and that's why I had to kind of make a few changes to really help me to stick to a topic because I sometimes have a habit of just kind of starting on one little thing and then all of a sudden I end up over there. So I know that is a habit of mine. So when I am filming, I make sure that I'm kind of like taking my time and over the years and over the videos, I have managed to kind of like rein it in a little bit and realize that, okay, from watching my videos, I can see that I need to just do this. I need to do that. I need to do this to really kind of get it to that sweet spot. I honestly can promise you that the more you film your videos, 
videos, the better you're gonna get. Maybe get someone else to watch that video with you so that you can get some feedback from them, someone close to you, someone that you trust as well, and then kind of go on and practice again. And then you can maybe start uploading and like go all the way. So what makes you feel confident? Think about what gives you some confidence. For me, I know that when I'm filming, I like to dress up nice. I like to do my makeup, do my hair. It's a part of me. It's something that I do that makes me feel better about myself. And if I feel confident, then I feel like that's gonna give me a little push along the way to kind of come across a little bit more confident too on camera. I completely understand and agree with the saying that confidence comes from within. But sometimes we do need a little bit of a push from just external factors such as a bit of makeup, dressing up nicely. And again, that is down to like your personality. Like, is that something that you do day to day that makes you feel good? If it is, then fine, do it. I'm not saying that someone who doesn't do that day to day should do that and that it will give them confidence. I'm just saying that if it's something you do day, day to day and it does give you that confidence, then incorporate that into your video so that it can just make you feel a little bit more relaxed and give you that little bit of a confidence kind of boost for your videos. I think it also really comes down to that look good, feel good mentality for me personally. I feel like if I look good, then I feel good. And I don't mind having a little bit of a push in the right direction when it comes to my confidence. Create talking points. So by creating talking points, I actually managed to stick to the subject. This is what I mentioned earlier about sometimes I have a habit of going off. Well, talking points really does help me. Now, this is mainly helpful for me when I'm doing talking videos such as this one here today. On my other channel, I mainly do educational beauty videos. So that kind of comes naturally to me because I'm doing something I do on a daily basis anyway. But sitting down like this and talking to the camera, not really doing anything at the same time doesn't necessarily come natural to me. So for this, I need to create talking points that gives me an idea of what I'm going to be covering throughout the video. Plus it ensures that I'm talking about that one point until I move on to my next bullet point. If you don't do this, then sometimes what can happen, and trust me, I'm telling you this from experience, is that you may think to yourself, you know what? I want to be natural. I want it to come across natural. So I'm not going to write any bullet points. And I'm telling you what happens, unless you are extremely good at talking to a camera, is that you turn the camera on, hit record, and you just stare at the camera. You just stare at the camera and you're like, okay, now what? Oh, what? Did, did I already mention this? Uh, this has happened to me a million times before. And that's when I realized, okay, I did a bit of research and I realized, okay, talking points, I need to make a list. It's going to help me. And it has helped me massively. Don't overthink it. The more you think about what you're already nervous about, the more you're going to feel even more nervous, the more you're going to stress yourself out and probably make mistakes along the way. So why make it even more difficult on yourself? Don't overthink it. Don't try and think about every little thing that you need to do. Just remember that you are filming yourself. There is no one else in the room, hopefully. So therefore you don't have to worry about what someone's gonna think or, oh, someone's actually physically sitting there watching me. You haven't even published yet. So relax, enjoy it as well while you go along because that will come through and it will be a lot more kind of comfortable to watch for the viewer. So remember that it's your decision on whether you end up publishing this video. So like I said at the beginning, doing a few practice runs is well worth it because it gives you an idea of how you come off on camera and you're not sitting there waiting for any surprises and thinking, oh my God, now I'm going to have to do that all over again. So don't film with the expectation of actually publishing. Try and relax. Enjoy the whole process too. Try not to overanalyze yourself and don't take yourself so seriously. This is there for you to enjoy as well. It is all down to why you're doing this. Are you doing this as a hobby? Are you doing this because you want to start a business? Whatever it may be, it's really important to enjoy it as well because otherwise you're less likely to put a hundred percent in when you don't actually enjoy something. One thing I would like to add is that don't let something like lack of confidence stop you from filming yourself and creating a career on whatever platform it may be. You will 100% get past the whole lack of confidence situation because all of us as YouTubers have been there where we have felt not so confident, don't look natural, don't feel natural on camera and the whole setup just doesn't feel natural. We've all been there. But one thing I think most of us will probably be able to tell you is that it is well worth it. Confidence is just a very small part of this journey. So once you've overcome that hurdle, which won't take you long at all, it's just time, it's just a bit of patience, and it's a bit of practice. You can then move on to other things that you can focus on so that you don't need to worry so much about how you're coming off on camera. I really do hope that all of this information that I've shared with you today has helped you. It's definitely the kind 
kind of information that I wish was around when I started because I watched several videos to help me get started on this platform and I learned a lot from a lot of different people but I really wanted to create this video to kind of sum up everything to help you become more confident on camera no matter what that platform may be. So I'm sending you loads of good vibes wherever you are in the world. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video take care and I'll see you soon.